What is up guys, it's Texas Mod Network here and today we're finally going to be installing these guys. These nice air horns, they are the, you know, Dixie horns. Uh, I'm going to be putting them on the F-150 for now, should have a little fun with it. Probably going to end up uh, putting them on the Bronco later on. Got all my uh, hoses and everything hooked up, we're going to do some wiring and then uh, get these things bolted up under the truck. Alright guys, so the next thing we got to do, we're going to need a way to mount this other than just the bracket right here and then a way to mount the air compressor underneath as well. So what I have here, these are just really, really strong magnets. They use them on like semi trucks and uh, things like that to mount stuff. Uh, that way you don't have to drill into the frame or anything. I don't really want to drill into the frame on my new truck up underneath. So basically you just got a bolt going through there. And then that is going to go one there and one there. And we're going to drill through just wherever on there. I'm probably not going to be too specific about it. And then bolt these guys on. And then there's also going to be one bolted right here onto the air compressor. So another one of those guys for that. And these things are strong. So as you can see, like right here, They'll pick up just about anything so don't have to worry about it falling off the truck so with that being said we're gonna go ahead and drill some holes in here and then see if we can get these mounted up <laughs> alright guys got all the magnets installed kind of a short time lapse because the uh, bolt that I was going to use on the compressor right there was kind of a pain in the ass so I had to kind of shear it out and use the original bolt that was for the pump. I was going to use one of these other ones but it was sticking out uh, too much and it wasn't really holding good. So I went ahead and used that one. It sticks out just a little bit but it should be enough to where I can get the magnet to hit on some part of the frame. And then the other two just went one on each end just kind of eyeballed it between the two of those. Doesn't really have to look perfect. It'll be underneath the truck anyways. Uh, we'll have to find a spot for this wire right here to ground that guy out underneath the truck. And then I've got the power pretty much all ran out in the truck already. I didn't really record any of that because it was kind of boring. And then uh, I've got a switch right here that will eventually be replaced with a momentary switch. That's just kind of a, you know, flip on and then I'll just have to cut it off once it gets all the way through the sequence. But there you go, guys. So we're going to get out to the truck next and we're going to get this installed underneath and see how it sounds. Alright guys, pardon the terrible angle in the close corners, but I'm kind of underneath the truck right now to film this. Don't have any jack stands or anything. But the horns are all mounted up here, as you can see. Uh, magnets on the frame right here, and then the magnet holding the pump up here. Uh, if I shake this, I can literally move the whole truck. It's kind of hard to do from right here, but yeah, these aren't, they're not going to... They're not going to fall off or anything. If anything, I'll take them out by scraping them against something a little bit too low at some point. But not worried about that. Everything's all hooked up. Uh, plumbed up under here. I just have to ground out. Uh, I just need to ground out the pump. Find a place to ground this out. Not sure where I'm going to ground it to yet. And then run the power wire back to it. And then finish up wiring the switch. And then we'll test this thing out. A little windy. Just wanted to explain some of the wiring to you. So down here, we've got... The yellow wire you can see there, that's going back for the power to the actual compressor. Uh, the black wire, kind of hidden right here, is going up along here. And then there's a fuse, a fuse right in there, so I have a fuse in that line. And that guy comes back, and I've got it spliced into a red wire, it comes right here. And attached onto the battery, just nice and clean like that, just kind of tucked it back there. And that's all under the hood. The pump itself underneath is grounded out to the frame rail. I found a bolt that I could get it onto. And then the other yellow wire that you've seen, it's going back along the frame and then up to the pump as well. Or compressor. And then right here on the inside, this is actually the end of the yellow wire. I have it a uh, quick release kind of on the inside here if I need to take it off. So this one's going to the pump. We have this wire here. This is our battery lead, and then the switch right here. And then we're gonna ground this guy out, just a short ground to ground the switch. And then once we get that done, we'll hook up those two, and then 
hopefully click the switch and it should all work. All right guys, you ready to hear the new horn? Here we go.